Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Candace, and we are on, what, like part eight of the Modesty series now? Uh, this one's not going to be so focused on scripture and stuff, but we're just going to go through and talk about practical ways that you can make your wardrobe more modest without having to, like, get rid of everything you own or, like, do a whole wardrobe overall. Okay? But first, we're going to pray for it, as always. Uh, God, thank you for... Anyone who's watching this video right now, I ask that you would bless them in their lives because they're searching this topic out, they're searching for more of you, they're searching for ways to be more modest themselves and in their wardrobe, and I ask that you would give them every every bit of knowledge and everything that you would like them to know or things that you would like them to purchase. I ask that you would give them finances if you want them to overhaul their wardrobe or anything like that. I ask that you would provide and bless them. I ask this in Jesus Christ's name. Okay, so today we're just going to get kind of into the practical tips. This probably won't be a very long video. Um, practical tips on what to do with your wardrobe if, like, some of the pieces in your wardrobe are not so modest and you're trying to be more modest with them. Easy practical tips that you don't have to, like, overhaul your entire wardrobe to do so. Okay, uh, we're going to start, I guess, with the top of our bodies, our tops, you know. Most modern tops these days are not uh, super modest, <laughs> like usually things are really low cut at the stores or they're like this shirt and are pretty much see-through. I don't know if you guys can see that with the camera. Yeah, there it is. See-through. <laughs> so easy ways, easy fixes for that. Like if your top is see-through, like this one does happen to be see-through and I had this probably, I got this years and years ago. I think before I really started being more modest. Um, I always plan to wear it with like a cami underneath and that's what I do basically to make it look more modest because otherwise you know you would be seeing my undergarments and that's not modest at all. So I always wear this with a black cami underneath it and that's a great way like if your clothing is like way too low cut or kind of you know see-through like this throwing on a cami underneath always helps because it just covers up a bit more. A lot of the times like my I have outfits or dresses or stuff that are like a little bit too low in the front and but if you put a cami on underneath it like in a coordinating color it kind of raises the modesty level of it a little bit and just makes you feel more comfortable in it without having to like go and buy a whole new dress that's more higher cut than lower cut you know what I mean uh, tops also I think another good tip with tops is just to make sure that you know your undergarments are not peeking through through them so if you have something on, like say this, this is pretty sheer, so if I could see my undergarment through it, you know, putting a tank top on underneath or throwing like a sweater or a camisole over top is usually very helpful, especially if you're wearing a top that um, not only can you see your undergarments, but it's also like very thin on top. You know, I'm not saying that these tops are bad, but if you would like to be a bit more covered, without having to like get rid of the top entirely because you like it you know throwing like a sweater a cardigan something like that over the top is a quick easy fix to make it more modest to go out and about now of course like the things that I'm going to be wearing in my home like I would probably wear the cami by itself with a pair of leggings you know <laughs> like in my own home where nobody's going to see me you know but if I'm gonna go out even just to going out to the mailbox you know to get the mail I'm gonna put something on that's gonna you know cover the booty and <laughs> cover the chest and all those things. Um, that's basically my tips with tops. It's pretty easy. Throw a cami on underneath or throw a cardigan or a sweater on over top. Um, if the, especially like if your shirt, if you go to bend over a lot and like your shirt like, you know, does that gappy droop down, show your whole chest sort of thing, camis are a good help for that too because especially like the camis that are a little bit closer fit like not the loosey-goosey ones but the closer fit ones those are a good way to stop everybody from seeing everything if you happen to bend over as well and camis underneath if your cami like if your top is not long enough in the back say to cover you know your butt crack or <laughs> in the front to cover you know all the belly bits you know that people tend to just let hang out these days um camis underneath or like a tank top underneath that it's a little bit longer is always a good way to help combat that too. Now on to bottoms, okay? Um, 
I'm gonna talk about skirts first because I wear a lot of skirts. Uh, usually what's great about a skirt as opposed to pants is skirts, and I'm not talking like mini skirts here because I don't wear mini skirts because I'm really tall so like what, like a skirt that hits at the knees for most people is already going to be slightly admonished and looking like a mini skirt for me so I don't go like any shorter than that. But skirts are nice because if you wear them like up tucked around your waist it's nice because when you bend over you know there's no like plumber's crack hanging out and things like that and you're not having to like readjust your shirt and pull it down all the time so I tend to gravitate towards skirts that I wear up around my waist that way you know I just don't have that problem <laughs> in the whole modesty thing like I just don't have the problem of having to make sure I'm pulling my shirt down so things aren't being seen in the back uh, but with skirts too like if you're if you have a skirt that is slightly shorter than you're now comfortable with it being, and I have quite a few of those in my wardrobe, like I said, I'm tall, so just about everything is shorter on me than it is on a regular person, regular sized, you know, average five, six sort of human being is, it's gonna look modest on them, but on me it's definitely not. So I tend to throw a pair of leggings on underneath my skirts, depending on, you know, if they're too short and what time of year it is. Um, in the winter time, definitely. I'll probably throw like two pairs of leggings on to keep myself extra warm underneath my skirts. Um, but in the summer, like, I'll throw just a longer skirt on <laughs> or just wear a pair of leggings or like a pair of hosiery or something underneath, okay? Um, to fix the problem of, again, if skirts are a little too sheer or like, if your skirt fabric is kind of on the thin side and you stand like in front of a window with light coming through and people can see the outline of everything underneath from the other side of you, you know what I'm talking about? That, to fix that, um, I just throw on a petticoat underneath or a slip. And I know slips kind of and petticoats seem like very old fashioned words, but slips are really helpful. Like if you're gonna wear a dress or a skirt and you don't want it like, you know, sticking to your legs or sticking to the fabric of your leggings if you have leggings on underneath, especially on those days when it's like really dry and like staticky cling outside. <laughs> Slips or a petticoat or something like that is great because it kind of, it's an extra barrier and it keeps those fabrics or the fabric from like sticking to your legs, which is great. It also helps with the whole sheer factor. Like it gives you another layer of fabric just to make sure that people, you know, don't get to see all the bits just because they're standing in front of you and the sunshine's behind you. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for skirts. Just make sure they're, like, if you have shorter skirts, just wear leggings or something underneath them, you know? Or what I have found helpful too is if you have, we'll move into dresses here because this is a tip for dresses. If you have a dress that the skirt part of it is slightly too short, the nice thing about this um, is that you can throw another skirt on top of your dress. <laughs> like, uh, who is it? I was watching some YouTuber once, Rachel Maxey or something like that, and she was talking about, you know, just throwing a skirt on it to fix that problem. And it's so true. Like, literally, you can take a dress that has a shorter skirt that maybe comes above your knees, and if it doesn't have, you know, like a empire waist or something like that, if it's just like a regular waist, you can just throw another longer skirt on top of it and it looks like a whole new outfit plus you're able to keep your dress but still make it look more modest. Dresses of course if you're um, again if it's low cut throw a cami or a slip on underneath it that helps just get rid of that problem. If your shoulders are showing and you don't want them to or if you just feel like it's a little too revealing up top or you know your upper back throw a cami on or throw a cami on or throw you know a cardigan on over top they have these really cute little like knitted shawls too that you can just throw on over top so you don't have to like it's still you know breezy enough that you can wear it in the summertime and not like totally overheat but it still covers you up enough that it makes you look more modest um yeah i think that's about it for dresses pants pants i don't wear pants guys I don't like pants. <laughs> My problem with pants is uh, because I'm so tall, they never fit the way they're supposed to. They're either too short or too big or too small in many different areas and they just never do what I need them to do. So I've gotten rid of all my pants. But for those of you who do still have pants <laughs> and wear pants on a regular basis, um, for the most part, but with pants, I think it's like 
whether they're too tight or not is usually like the modesty issue or if you know like you bend over and things are hanging out in the back other than that there's really not that much of a modesty issue with pants now for the first issue where if they're like too tight and uh hugging a lot of different areas or you know eating you know like your looks like your butt's eating your pants a lot of that can be fixed by just having a proper undergarment so if you have underwear that's a little bit more full coverage like it's not going to be able to go up your butt crack <laughs> but on the other end of things uh you could always wear it like a cardigan or a shawl that's kind of longer and covers your backside that's always an easy fix and it just kind of helps make it a little more look a little bit more modest and not, you know, be so accentuated, shall we say. <laughs> and that cardigan thing also works, and like the long tank tops and stuff like that also work again, like I said before, if you're bending over and you're seeing way too much of your lower back and, you know, plumber's crack sort of area, a longer tank top or a longer cardigan can easily fix that issue without you having to get rid of the pants. You know what I mean? What, those are some of the staples that I would say that any woman should really have in their wardrobe is camis, cardigans of some sort, <laughs> you know, and like slips or things that need to go underneath dresses and stuff like that. Pretty basic things that you can add to your wardrobe without having to like get rid of your wardrobe to make it better. Um, shorts. Shorts. Shorts are a big problem for me, personally, okay? Like, because, <laughs> I'm gonna say this in general, okay? If you are a taller human being or a larger human being, we just tend to have more skin, okay? Because we are just taller or larger. We have more skin, it's a fact. So when you buy regular size shorts at the store, they are gonna look way different on me, someone my height, versus someone who's like 5'5". Five five. So a regular pair of shorts that looks, and I'm not talking about these little booty short things that are going on at the stores the last couple of years, those are just, those aren't really redeemable in modesty terms, guys. They're not. They're not. If you have those, that might just be one of those wardrobe items that just like has to go. You know? I'm just saying. But regular shorts, you know, on someone who are fi who's 5'5", five five are going to look more modest than they are on someone my height. So I can wear a pair of shorts that someone who's 5'5 five five is going to wear, but on me, you're going to be seeing like 6 to 8 inches more thigh than you would on them. <laughs> so that's one of those things where, for me, if I'm going to wear shorts, it's like, it, I wear them maybe in my backyard gardening. Like, I find it much easier in the summertime if it's really hot outside for me to throw on a skirt. Like, just a cotton skirt that's, you know, nice and breezy. <laughs> you know, it's not like munching up anywhere. You're not going to get extra sweat anywhere because it's just a skirt and it lets the air in. That's my personal preference. But if you are going to wear shorts, you might want to go for shorts that are, you know, like more Bermuda shorts, a little bit longer. Or if you have the regular shorts, but they're not like super crazy short again wearing like a long cardigan or like they have those like those really thin material like shawl things that go like almost to your knees that would be a good idea to throw on with that it would make it look a little better you know stuff like that um swimwear <laughs> let's talk about swimwear swimwear is one of those things where it's not necessarily made to be modest like at all. It's swimwear. Um, you're using it when you are in water, usually, or at the beach. And at the beach, there are a lot of scantily clad people. But to make yourself slightly more modest, uh, instead of going for, you know, like if you own a bikini already, maybe, you know, just wearing like the bathing suit cover up while you're in the water too, if you want to. If it's like one of those really thin fabrics, you could always do that. Um, for me, I had to switch personally from a bikini to a tankini <laughs> because I just didn't feel comfortable showing that much skin anymore and it wasn't like a insecurity thing. It's not a body insecurity or I'm ashamed of my body, which a lot of people kind of associate with modesty. Like, I'm not ashamed of my body, but I just don't feel that everybody now has the right to view that much of me anymore. And I feel like it looks a little bit disproportionate to like be wearing a bikini when I'm so tall and I have so much extra skin showing. Like it just, 
it doesn't it looks weird to me now so for me I switched to a tankini <laughs> like I kept I've always had the bathing suit bottoms that like had a little skirt on them or you could even throw like a little mini cotton skirt or something like that on top of your bikini bottoms to make them slightly more modest um, or a pair of shorts works too uh, I swapped to the tankini just because it covers a bit more skin of course tankinis are still low cut as are just about every other piece of swimwear that I have come across um, but it covers up more so it at least looks more proportional and in at a beach where a lot of people are wearing you know g-strings which in my personal opinion that is not swimwear that is a piece of floss like it's not it's not covering anything guys it's not so when that is all around you know you're wearing a tankini you're gonna look pretty modest just in general but again you could always you know use those like knitted shawls or bathing suit cover-ups like if you're not actually in the water like throw a little wrap around your waist you know if you're not actually in the water throw a little shawl on if you want to you know just simple things to where you can still have the things that you have in your wardrobe but you know make them slightly more modest and that's the thing you know if you're not in the water anyway you don't really need to be fully uncovered in my opinion but that's just me okay you do you of course uh let's see did i cover everything let's see tops bottoms dresses swimwear I think that's about it. I mean, shoes, you know, are, are shoes. They cover your feet, hats and gloves and stuff. That's just basic. Coats, again, basic. You're covering yourself up anyway, so <laughs> I don't think that those things necessarily need to be made more modest. Unless, of course, you're wearing, like, shoes that look like they could be, you know, on a stripper's pole or something, then maybe you might want to change your shoes a little bit if that's where you're that's that's the type of shoe you wore before and you're trying to go on this modesty journey and be a bit more modest maybe you might swap those shoes out for something else you know but this video is just was just to give you guys a list of practical tips for things that you can add on top of what you already have or underneath what you already have so you don't have to do like a full wardrobe overhaul because I know how expensive it can be to try and like redo your entire wardrobe and let's face it as women we tend to like shift in and out of fashion things and all of that and so our wardrobes are kind of ever changing anyway but it's it's best I think to still use what you have if you can of course instead of wasting it and it's still good to use what you can what you have if you can but just modify it a bit to make it more modest so those are my tips. If you have any more tips, hey, if you have any more tips, this is just a community of people, guys. If you have more tips to share for making things modest that you already own, go ahead and throw them down in the comments. I'd love to hear them. All right, guys, I think I'll see you next time. Bye.